Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. They do appear, Jim Beglin, to be going with a 5-3-2 formation. Conservatism would appear to be at play, Peter. However, we don't know what their motives are just yet. It could well be as it looks, but it might also be a way of deceiving the opposition into thinking that they're just going to sit back and then hope to produce an aggressive counter-attack or two. This system can accommodate that. And I certainly hope we're going to get something positive in response, and it's not going to be all defence. And already we're underway here. Forward it goes. We sit high. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. A forward pass. Well played, he saw that coming. And here's Zahavi. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and. Uh... Excitement, forget it. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Tries to get it forward quickly. Gets it back. Drives it towards the front. Tries to stroke it through. Well read, he sorted that out. Away from immediate danger. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if he didn't have people nearby. He's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. And it's half-time here. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. We're already back on the way here. Henan Gianya, pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and, and second-best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to spark a reaction. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. And here's Sahavi. Hoists it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Ball's loose. Who's getting there?
Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. Goes for the cross. And that's been levered clear. Guangzhou are an F. Get it back again. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Knocks it away. Who's he going to play in? Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. They seem to have lost their sense of direction. Uh, it should be higher up the pitch. Tries to locate someone up front. Oh, good interception. And the referee brings it to a close. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defenses love.